Hi and welcome to the very first Prestige Paintworks YouTube video. Now this one will be about some of the cars that we've got in, um, a brief description about what we're doing with them. Second video will be a little bit of a shop tour, what we've got in terms of equipment, our setup, that kind of thing. And then from there on it'll be more about the car. So there'll be a few episodes over each car, sort of detailing the build and our methods in achieving the results that we do. This lovely Goodwood Green DB4 is in for some corrosion repairs. All four wheel arches are showing signs of corrosion, as are both seals and front and rear balances. So we'll send those back to within a couple of inches of each wheel arch, assess the corrosion when we've got that. The bonnet and the two doors have shown signs of corrosion, so we'll bare metal those and then reassess the corrosion situation. We may end up replacing the bottoms of both two door frames. All depends on how, how it comes. And then over the next eight to 12 weeks, it'll end up getting coloured up in good green. This DB24 Mark One drop head really is only here for some concourse preparation. It's a triple gold concourse winner. A couple of occasions, albeit by walkover win, as there was no competition. Uh, but it's going into the elite class, should that go ahead, um, in May. Um, we did all the uh, filler work and paint work on it in 2015. So what you see is four year old paint, and it hasn't had a mop put over it in four years and it still looks as good as when we turned it out in 2015. It's a beautiful car, lovely panel fit, spent a lot of time making it as good as it is, arguably the finest Mark 1 drop head in the world. This DB5 came to us in October in Sierra Blue, uh, customer wanted the colour change purely for resale to Silver Birch, so we've taken it back to bare metal, no corrosion to take care of, refined all the panel fit, Leveled it, painted it in iconic silver birch, typical James Bond style, and it'll be up for sale shortly. 73 AMV8, very early AMV8, a few details that the end and outward spot. Normally the rear scuttles have a lip and it's got no vents, but this has got the vents and no lip. And most would look at the bonnet and presume it was an EFI model because there's no large intake, but it's not, it is a carburetor model. And that's how it left Aston Martin in 973 with the pancake filters as standard. Um, we'll be subject to a body off restoration, um, commissions taken to a customer build spec. This 1972 Aston Martin DBS 6 uh, came to us in silver in 2015. Customer delivery should know the direction it's going to go, it will be bodied off. Spent 750 hours plus on the metal work on the steel part of the shell alone. Lots of cosmetic repairs on the aluminium work. Lower wings were missing, lower door skins were missing. Um, repainted in a GM blue. Just on the final stages of refit, due to have upholstery fitted in April, mid April. So we've gone for six weeks with the delivery due date of August. And this 1958 uh, DB24 Mark III drop head. One of only a handful was far and fine when we got it in 2014. Um, completely rebodied the back half of it, new rear clip, new boot skin, new door skins, door frames, all still in a tub and completely remade in house. 40% uh, of the bonnet we've remade, so we've retained about 60% of the original bonnet skin. But the back edges, the sides, the front, the lower strip we've re replaced. All the internal frame of the bonnet we've replaced and it's been put back to period correct peony red. This one's rather special. Um, registered the same year and month I was born, so it has plenty of sentimental value and it's my father's car. Saluki Bronze, Mark II Cortina, four door, 1500 pre cross flow, super automatic. One of arguably only a couple left in existence. It was the model that nobody wanted. So it's the first to go in the bin. Um, we've completely gone through all the metal work. We've spent over 1,500 hours of metal work replacing the seals, inner seals, floors, outriggers, arches, wings. It's had everything done to it. Back to period correct Saluki bronze, which I ironically painted blue in 1985 when I was just 18. That's the color my father chose and that's what he wanted in, in, 20, uh, in 1985. And now it's gone back to period correct Saluki bronze and looks absolutely gorgeous. We can't alienate the Germans. This my wife bought in 2013 um, in Titan Silver. 
we gave it a repaint to Suzuki Flash Yellow, which is three stage pearl. We sourced an original BMW hardtop that wasn't silver. We colour coded that to the car. It's not the norm for us, but if that's what somebody wants, that's what somebody can have. So if you like what you see, check us out, like or subscribe, uh, check out our Instagram and Facebook page, link will be in the description. Um, we've been asked to do some YouTube videos before and we put it off and put it off. So here's the first one. Let us have your comments and I'll do my best to answer them.